In today's tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to export audio splits in Premiere Pro. Let's begin. I've already organized my sequence with all the audio tracks separated and labeled. I have a voiceover English, voiceover Spanish, sound effects, and music track. Let's take a quick look to what I will be exporting. I am using my voice as an example. Estoy usando mi voz como ejemplo. To export the project with audio split tracks, I will need to create a new sequence with multi-channel audio tracks and transfer the existing content into it. Navigate to File, then New, and select Sequence. In this window, choose a sequence preset that suits your project, or create a custom preset. I'll opt for a custom preset tailored to my sequence. I'll go to Settings and adjust the editing mode to Custom. Time base to 30 frames per second, frame size to 1920 by 1080, pixel aspect ratio to square pixels, and fields to no fields progressive scan. I will leave the rest unchanged. Next, in the track section, I will leave the video tracks as is and focus on the audio section. Now, let's switch our mix from stereo to multi-channel. The number of channels will depend on the number of audio tracks in our timeline. Since I have four stereo audio tracks and want to export each stereo track separately, I'll need eight channels, two for each stereo track. Therefore, I'll set it to eight channels. Now that we've covered that, Let's focus on this section here. Under the track name, you can specify how many audio tracks you want in our sequence. Since I have four, I'll add another audio track by clicking on this icon here. Now, we should see a total of four audio tracks. You can also name them to keep things organized. I'll name this one VoiceOver English. And you can name the others if you like. Moving on to the track type section, clicking here reveals the various track types available. If you have a mono audio track, select mono and adjust the pan balance accordingly. However, all of my audio tracks are stereo, so I'll reset this back to zero and change the track type back to standard. You'll notice that changing the track type resets the track names back to their default names. Now, let's look at our output assignments. Here, we can assign which channel we want our audio tracks to use. You can also load tracks from a sequence you already have. Since my sequence is ready, I'll click Load from Sequence. I'll select the sequence I want to load from. Since I only have one, I'll see only one. However, you might have multiple sequences, which will appear in the drop down menu when clicked. I'll select my sequence and then click OK. We can see all of the tracks we had in our sequence here, along with the names I've created. However, one thing to note is that when I load my sequence, all of my settings reset. You can see that the output assignments are grayed out. That's because I need to change the mix back to multi channel. I'll go ahead and change the number of channels back to 8. Now we can proceed to edit our output assignments. For my voiceover English track, I'll set it to channel 1 and 2. For my voiceover Spanish track, I'll set that to 3 and 4. For my sound effects track, I'll set that to 5, 6. And for my music track, I'll set that to 7 and 8. This looks good. 
If you want to save this as a preset so that you don't have to do this all over again, you can do so by selecting Save Preset. I'll name it for Audio Tracks. Add a description if you like, and then press OK. You can see your newly created preset appear in the custom folder. I'll select it and now name my sequence for audio tracks and then press OK. We can see our newly created sequence and how each track is perfectly named. Now it's time to bring in our tracks into this sequence. I will go back to the sequence I want to transfer. I'll select all of my timeline. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy and then move back to my newly created sequence and press Command or Ctrl V to paste. Perfect! I will adjust my timeline. And I'll hit the spacebar to preview it. I am using my voice as an example. However, something's wrong. When I preview my timeline, I only hear the first audio track and not the other three. That's because, by default, Premiere will only play the first track. To listen to the others, I will need to activate them. To do this, we have to go to this area here. You will see four little sets of arrows. If I hover over them, I will see the names of which channels these belong to. In order for me to listen to all of my tracks, and not just one, I will need to activate all of them by selecting them. Now, when I go back, and preview my timeline, I should be able to listen to all of my four audio tracks. I am using my voice as an example. Estoy usando mi voz como ejemplo. Perfect! I can now listen to all of them. If you want to have more control over each audio track, you can go to your audio track mixer. You will see each track appear and labeled. You can change the decibel levels and also reassign the output channel for each track. Ok, it's time to export. Go to File, then Export, and select Media. Perfect! Now go ahead and give it a name, and a destination to where you want to save this. Now, the most important part in order to save your audio splits you will need to select a format that supports audio channelization, and that's QuickTime. Now, inside the video menu, under Video Codec, I will select the codec that best works for my project. Any of the Apple ProRes family will work for mine, so I'll select Apple ProRes 422. For the rest of the settings, I want them to be similar to what I already have on my sequence, so I'll select Match Source. Now that I have done that, I will head over to the audio section, under the basic audio settings, select your sample rate, and sample size. But the area we want to focus on, is this area here. There is only one track here, and we need a total of 4. So I will go ahead and press the plus icon here. Perfect! Now that I have 4 tracks, I will make sure to change them from mono to stereo. We have our four stereo audio tracks, and each track has their source channels assigned. Now, go ahead and press Export. Perfect! Now, let's go ahead and import our newly exported video file. Right click in your project window and select Import. Choose the file we've just exported, and click Import. When we drag it into a new sequence, we should see our video file come with four audio tracks. I'll hit the spacebar to preview our clip. I am using my voice as an example. Estoy usando mi voz como ejemplo. Perfect! This technique allows you to make adjustments to your audio such as lowering or increasing the volume of a track, or completely removing them if you like. Let me show you. I'll right click over the clip, and select Unlink. Now, let's say you want to increase the volume of the music track some more. Using my voice as an example. 
Or what if you want to remove the music and increase the volume for the sound effects? Using my voice as an example. Estoy usando mi voz como ejemplo. Well, with this technique, you can. You can now edit your audio tracks on a later time without a problem. And there you have it. You now know how to export audio splits in Premiere Pro. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see more tutorials like this one or download some project files, head over to the tutosdigital.com website. Thank you for watching Tutos. Till the next one.